Last week, a group of brave women in Victoria gathered to protest men using their bathrooms and dominating their sports. And as sure as night turns to day, the activist media and the leftist political hacks of this nation described it as an ugly, evil, harmful gathering, never even seeking to distinguish between the nitwits who showed up in black from the genuine female protesters. Now, this is just emotional manipulation designed once again to shut down the debate. And if the left actually cared, they'd consider the reasons for the higher rates of mental health problems rather than using it as a threat to shut down and silence women. Have they ever entertained the possibility that telling children that they can change their genders might be dangerous to their mental health? These people claim to be care about safety but care nothing about the harms being caused to women and children with increasing reports of women being sexually abused by men who identify as women in prisons across the world. Where's the outrage for them? Where's the outrage from the left, from the biological man who rushed the stage at the New Zealand Let Women Speak event and threw tomato, tomato juice at Kelly J. Keane? Where's the outrage from the left at the church shooting in Nashville where a radical trans activist am shot, amongst others, a three-year-old girl and murdered her? Pay close attention to the way in which the term harm is weaponised. The activist state and their allies in the censorship industrial complex are gaslighting you. It's time the sycophants of the left started to consider the impact this is having on women and on people who are trying to raise their kids without the activist state trying to divide families and sexualise our children.